Now let us look at the solution of question number 22. As you can see the question number 22 is from heaps. They have given an array. Now they are asking after building the heap from the array A, the depth of the heap and the right child of the max heap are as follows respectively. Now there are two ways we can create heap. Number one is we can insert insert these elements one by one so insert the elements one by one one by one for example i can take the first element then i can insert it then i will take the second element to insert then i will take the third element to insert then i will take the fourth element to insert and so on or option number two is we can convert an array to heap convert an array to heap okay so uh, both the, the things are easy both the solutions are easy so i'm expecting that to solve this problem the second option will be the correct one okay now what they are assuming is that we have this array and this array is having the values which are 4 1 3 2 16 9 10 14 8 and 7 now you remember this one that in case of heaps yeah. So in case of heaps, uh, heaps are generally created using arrays only. The only thing is the index, the positions of the elements, they does matter. So heaps are almost complete binary trees as, as you know, they are almost complete binary trees. Okay. So uh, I can also represent the same array like this also in terms of heap. This is 4, then the left element will be 1, right will be 3, then we have 2, then we have 16. I hope that you have already seen my lectures on heap. This is 9, then we have 10, then we have 14, then we have 8, and then we have 7. So this is the heap, right? So I, I hope that you have gone through my lectures on heaps. I've already created for the students who have taken my course. Now, what we will do is, we will start from the last index location. That means we will start from here, and then I'll start converting the entire tree into heaps. Okay, so in the first case, because we need a max heap, max heap means the root elements contains the maximum number. Okay, so I'll just draw this again so that uh, there will not be any kind of confusion because I'll uh, make it bigger. Uh, because I'm going to make a lot of you know uh, corrections in the same tree so that we save a lot of time uh, in building the heap. So this is 9, this is 10, this is 14 this is 8 and this is 7 okay so this is the original tree and now I'm going to convert this tree into a uh, max heap okay this only tree from the original array so we'll start from the last index location that is from here so you can see these two elements are already in the max heap because uh, in this subtree 16 is the maximum element now for this particular case here between these three elements 14 is the maximum element so I'm going to make 14 here and I'm going to make 2 here then check on this subtree. So this subtree saying 10 is the maximum element. So 10 will come here and 3 will come here. Now in this subtree 16 is the maximum element in this one. So 16 will come here and 1 will come here. And again uh, 7 will come here and 1 will come here. And now 16 will come here. Then 4 will come here. And then again uh, 14 will come here. And 4 will come here. And after that 8 will come here. And 4 will come here. So after converting the entire tree in terms of heap. What is the final result? So final result is in root we have 16, in left we have 14 and then we have 10, here we have 9, here we have 3, here uh, in 14 on the left side we have 8, on the right side we have 7 and then on the left side of 8 we have 2, on the right of 8 is 4, on the left of 7 is 1. Now you can clearly see this is representing a heap right because every element uh, uh, every uh, root of every subtree is containing the maximum element okay now they are asking after building the heap from the array a the depth of the heap and the right child so what is the depth so generally we have two things number one is we have height and second one is we have depth okay so we have levels also for example they are saying root is at level zero so this is the level zero this is representing the level 1 all these nodes are at level 2 and all these nodes are at level 3 okay so when we have when we measure height now we measure height from leaf to 
root this is how we measure measure height and when we measure depth now depth is measured from uh, root to leaf okay so uh, we are assuming that because the root is given at level 0 so generally this level 0 is not at all fixed we can con also count uh, the depth of the tree uh, by considering root as uh, uh, depth 0 but still because as they are giving the root is given as level 0 so this is uh, the level 0 so the depth of the tree is 1 2 and 3 so this is the depth okay now they are asking the right child of the max heap so here on the right side we have 10 so 10 is on the right side so answer should be 3 comma 10 that is option number 2 option number 1 3 and 4 they are wrong so the correct answer here is option number 2 i hope that you understood this one so if you want to take the video lectures from us for the entire th thorough uh, comprehensive course for ugc net examination you can call us on this number or you can email us on this number you can also join the offline classroom program for ugc net computer science and for any queries you can call or whatsapp on these numbers given below and thank you for watching the video